Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the Copperall, bringing you a review, a quick review on a Nerf turbine. I got this thrifting. I think it's been already a day, and I haven't bothered to take it a take the tape off of it, put in the mag and all that because I I come to the conclusion I'm going to return this thing to the store because one it doesn't have this on top, and I went to the Goodwill outlet hoping to find it. And I didn't. And two, it's just these darn triggers. Like, look, see that? It's not wanting to go because I'm pushing it on the top. I have to go to the bottom. And this thing doesn't want to go out either. It, it's mostly the triggers. I just don't like these triggers. And I can't open this up and mod it because it's solvent welded. And I'm like, it performs perfectly fine. So, um, full, full auto is like in the 30s, but if you individually shoot it, it's going to be like 65, 70, se I saw a 72 at one point. I also don't like how this is extended outward. It can't connect with the barrel attachments. Honestly, I do like the look of the blaster. I feel like this thing looks like a Promethean weapon from Halo. It look, Or like a weapon from Doom, like the laser rifle. I like that it has the side tactical tactical rails, and it has them on both sides. I like the mines came with both the 18 round mag and a bonus mag, and I like the price. It was seven dollars, seven dollar blaster. So I also think this one it doesn't feel too sharp either. It the only problem I have is this, and I don't hate it as much. Good blaster for painting up and sci for sci fiing but you got to do this thing I did with the Phoenix. You got to put a little piece of cardboard here and right here if you don't have the lid so it doesn't get into the mechanism. And then you could paint this up. It's a pain to take apart, too. So there's that. Modability. Yes, you can mod it, but it's really hard to do so. Internals. Terrible. Leaf springs. It's an automatic with a leaf spring. FPS is okay. Accessories, it didn't come with any. It came with the 18 round mag. Sling attachment points, they're fairly decent. There's one right at the bottom. Right at the top, okay. You got that. Looks, looks amazing profile. You can paint this all black. It wouldn't look like anything, anything real except unless Caltech already made it. Man, why does Caltech have to ruin Nerf guns? It's like literally they are Nerf guns. But real. Rockets can use the rockets. It could use barely use the Mega properly. Practicality? Oh yeah, it's an automatic, but it's like Leaf Springs. It's not as practical because it could break on you. And price, seven dollars, pretty good. Um in store what was it, forty dollars? I missed out getting one of these for like fifteen bucks. And all that. So it's like I would, I'm like, I say this is a novelty. Like, if you don't have an automatic, but you find this and it's complete, yeah, sure, get it. If you have a rapid strike or a hyper fire or even a regulator, this thing is pointless. You don't need it. Unless you want to paint it up and go through the pro process of making this thing good, then, yeah, sure, do that. But, No. This thing is, it, without the, the thing, you could stick your finger in here and hit yourself with the little pusher as well. It doesn't really hurt. It's kind of more annoying. The only good thing I got from this one is like, okay, it's pretty okay blaster. I kind of enjoyed playing with it. But I was testing out these. Ah, my little owl. So I was testing out the darts. And... I realized that these things do not fire out too well in flywheel blasters, but they fire out pretty well in normal blasters, in the, just springers. I was using the, um, the whatchamacallit, the wild edition thing, the, um, the, the revolver. Um, why did I forget its name? I was using that, and it's like, oh yeah, it worked fairly good. It was really good, because 
I believe these things are wider than nerf darts. They have a smaller hole. So I'm going to do a comparison video on these things to see which dart is better. But yeah, no, no, don't use these. If you're going to get yourself the um, the um, electric power blasters, big power, big power electric blasters. Don't use the darts and flywheels. Use them in springers. But yeah. So I, I thank this blaster for doing that. But if y'all want me to keep it, I might return it tomorrow. But you want me to keep it and say, like, okay, sure, fine, keep, hang on to it. Then, yeah, sure, leave it in the comments. If you, if you don't care, you don't want me to, just don't talk about it. Okay? But, for, but within a few hours, I'm returning this thing. Thank you all very much. You all have a nice day. Bye-bye. The gloves, they do nothing.